<laughs> hello, hello. Welcome to the stream. I'm feeling singy today. Not sure if that's a good thing or not. Just saying. Feeling so singy today. I'm not sure why, but I'm just gonna keep singing this song. Don't know what song I'm singing. Where is my music? There it is. I'm sure that you do not want to hear me sing anymore. Oh, hello. <laughs> Could never and would never give Kelly a run for her money. I'm not, not at all that well trained. Um, now, to be fair, I um, I was in a like choir and vo uh, voice training for about ten years, but you know, um, it has nothing on what she's done. And it's been about 10 years since I've actually practiced, so I'm very rusty. Anywho, I marked these ones already. Let's see. Still getting set up apparently. Do to do, do. Do I have everything I need? I do not. I need this. I need this. Um, I have everything else, I think. Yep, I think that's everything. Okay. No more singing. But sewing, sewing I can do. Uh, let's see if we can get you down a little bit further. I'm gonna be doing a lot of marking today, really. Um, actually, I lie. I lie a lot. Uh, not really. Uh, but I lied just now. First off, we're gonna start off with um, these two that I've already marked. Yes? I don't know. I don't know what to do. I'm having a very indecisive day today. Like, extremely indecisive. Um, no, we're gonna keep marking. Let's mark some more. That's a good idea. Marking. Yay, marking. Okay. So I've got a couple already marked. And... I think I've actually gone through all of the ones, those types that were ordered. Let's just start on these. So this is the next one we're doing. I can't wait. I'm so excited about this. I love it so much. Um, I can't wait to see this completed. It's gonna be so good. Yep, we're just singing today, apparently. It's a singy day. Which is probably a good thing. Um, for the fact that I'm playing a pseudo bard later. Um, now, do I have a sharpened? I do have a sharpened pencil. 
just stop for that. <sighs> Yay, singy day. Some days you just gotta kinda sing everything, I guess. I don't know. What am I doing? That's on the wrong side. Actually need to make let's just check real quick how many are ordered okay. whoa wrong way uh, one two two okay well there's one <laughs> Yeah, it's essentially like a Bob Ross kind of thing. Hello, hello, Dragon Gem. Welcome. Did you get your thing already? Please tell me you got your thing. No, actually, you should have it tomorrow. It's supposed to be there tomorrow. my hardest to get it to you before the thing. I I did everything I could to get the thing to you before the thing, because you know, the thing is important for the thing. Because that makes a hundred percent sense, right? Totally. really glad that I decided to start on keychain bags because I've already gotten through a good portion of the keychain bags that I needed to make um, and when you're not feeling the greatest getting through like the at least getting things knocked out like this really really makes a difference in your overall mood I was able to get almost all, I've got all but one Valkyrie bag, um, keychain bag, out. Um, the only one that's not out is one that is going with another order, and I just waited, essentially, to make it. Um, because I didn't really need, like, I don't need it to go out right now, because it's waiting for a couple other trays and bags, so... But it makes me feel good that, like, I've at least been able to send a few things out already. You know? It just feels good. And we're singing today!
gonna go ahead and just mark all of these. I don't think I'm going to make them all now. Um, I actually was talking with the other, uh, what are the markings all about? These are the um, lines essentially for where I'm gonna sew on the sides. Um, so once I put them together, I'm gonna put the front and the back face together with the keychain part in the middle. I'm gonna sew uh, across the top and then I'm gonna go through and sew up the sides. Um, so these are just the side markings. I don't need to mark the ends because um, on the top end, I'm just going to sew um, with as little seam allowance as, as needed, really. Um, and then on the bottom, I'm going to be adding in the, um, the springy dings. So I don't need to mark it because by the, when I get to the springy dings, um, I will use my guide on my mat. Um, so for each keychain bag, I only actually have to do two lines and that's it. Um, as far as marking goes, once it's cut. I'm actually going to do, let's see, I've got one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to do this one, and then I'm going to do a few more. Uh, I think you broke Christy. Yeah, <laughs> I'm so glad about that. Can I just say, I'm so, so glad about that. Um, but yeah, so I think I'm going to do... I've got one purple dragon, one Valkyrie, and six now uh, rainbow bags marked. I think I'm going to go ahead and mark a few more purple dragon bags and then start sewing. Um, because once again, sometimes getting a couple things done, um, it just feels better than making progress on a lot of things. Um, Especially when you're not having the best week like I am. But you know, things will get better. Just gotta keep, gotta keep going. Uh, how do I determine initial bag sizes? Whew, I'll tell you what, it took me eight months to get this design down. Um, I've been fiddling for so long. So, so long. Um, yeah. It, it took about took about eight months, um, and that was 100% trial and error. Um, I developed my own springy dings. I developed the uh, way I'm going to do the keychain bags. The, I tried several different ways of assembling them, and like when I did multiple uh, which ways, I, I worked on them in series. Um, so yeah, <laughs> um, I also heavily test my items before they go to my website as things you can buy um, because I want to make the absolute best product I can um, and I want to make sure that if someone buys something from me it's not going to fall apart in three months or whatever because that's no fun um, so yeah all of all of my products Everything that you see on my store um, generally took at least a couple of months to um, develop and test. Um, and I actually have um, certain friends and family I send things to that I know they'll use um, to get feedback and to see how well they hold up to heavy use. Um, like my my brother-in-law has keychain bags, and my daughter has keychain bags, and and other bags, and she has her own dice tray. And, but it's it's one of those things where um, I want, like I said, I, I want to to do a good product, so it takes a long time. Um, gotta, gotta make sure you're covering all your bases there. Um, but yeah, I, I custom made the, the springy dings and did all the testing and, um, 
there were probably about eight or nine alterations that I did throughout the process to these bags. Um, and really, it's funny, the reason why I started making these bags was because I wanted to use scrap fabric in some way. Because, you know, these are tiny pieces of fabric, relatively. Um, now, if you're doing some sort of quilt or something like that, this is not a small piece of fabric. This is actually quite a large piece of fabric for a quilt. But if you're doing any sort of bag or tray or clothing even, um, this is a really small piece of fabric. Um, in fact, I've had people send me fabric and they're like, well, I can only send you like this minimum. And I'm like, yeah, I don't even need that much. <laughs> Like, that's great. I don't know what I'm going to do with the rest of this. <laughs> and six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, let's just do ten bags for now. We're going to do ten bags. Let's see how we're feeling later. But yeah, it's a uh, long, long time to develop. Um, but that's also, um, that's also taking into consideration that mm -hmm while I was developing these, I was also working a full-time job. Um, so all of my, all of my work is around my day job and my family schedule. Um, so anytime something comes up with my family or whatever, I have to just put whatever I'm doing with ACD down. It, not as important, sorry. Um, but yeah, so there, there are times where I would go like a week or so without without working on them at all, um, but I'm an extremely thorough person when it comes to how I want my thing to work. <laughs> um, I want to make sure that I'm, I'm double checking, okay, well is this going to fall apart? Um, what else can this be used for? Um, is there a faster way for me to assemble this? Um, how, how efficient can I make this process? <laughs> like, there's so much, uh, that goes into making a product. Um, and people don't always realize that. But that's part of the reason why they cost so much. Because this is not an easy thing to make. Once I have the process down, yeah, I make it look easy. Everybody, once once they know what they're doing, anybody can make anything look easy. Like those guys who regularly like lift cars as a sport. Like, that's great. I could never do that. Maybe not never, but it's it's one of those things where it's like, yeah, he makes it look easy. It's friggin' not. <laughs> you gotta work for that. <laughs> good morning, good morning. Yay, welcome. Thank you for joining me. Sorry if you guys hear my phone going off. Turning on the machine is usually a great way to start sewing. Just by turning it on. It's a good idea. <laughs> oh boy. buddy. Oh, oh, oh. Mm. Alright. I'm 
trying really hard to keep this. Oh, come on. All right, now up. There we go. Perfect. All right, Fred Cam. Fred Cam. Hi, Fred. Okay. Ooh, it's actually getting pretty hot in here. Okay. I'm sorry, you guys keep hearing my phone. It's blowing up today, apparently. about it except for trying to make him feel better when I get home from D&D &D tonight. <laughs> I won't even be here when he gets home. Oops. Yeah, if I can. All right. It's actually pretty breezy outside. I'm going to open that. Not sure it's actually going to help, but I might get a little bird, bit of a breeze in here. This is the tab for the um this is the tab <laughs> for the um, the bags. Just placing them in. Trying to get them in the absolute center. I never do, but I really try. I should probably mark it out, but once again, I don't like marking. <laughs> I just don't like marking. <laughs> don't like marking things. It's probably not a good trait for a seamstress to have. But you know, whatever. I do what I want. I just found that every time I have to stop and mark something, it just adds time. <laughs> so the fewer marks I can do, the better I am. The happier I am, I should say. Not necessarily better. I'm sure that my work would get even more precise if I did mark more. But I don't like it, so I'm trying to eliminate any marks that I can. So right now I'm literally just putting in this first seam, and then I'll go through and once I have all of them uh, seamed up here at the top, I'll add in the springy things at the bottom, and then we'll sew all around. And these ones, ooh, fancy dragon. It's kind of see-through looking. These ones are going to be so cool looking. All of them are. What am I talking about? They're all cool looking. Freaking 88 riddles. That guy is talented as fuck. And I can't wait to see all of it all of the stuff that I made because I never actually ended up having time to finish all of the um, tester ones that I got because uh, I got I got fabric in order to make uh, to just double check the designs 
and uh, placing and stuff, test, uh, see how, how it worked um, when I actually had it in hand trying to do it. Um, and we ended up changing a few things, not very much. But um, I never actually ended up making all of them that I got. So some of these I have, I have a very good idea of what they're gonna look like when they're done. But I, I don't actually have them done. <laughs> So it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting. It's one of those journeys that uh, I'm glad that you guys can take with me, you folks, you y'all, y'all, not you guys, y'all, because not everybody's guy, buddy, buddies, friends, pals, y'all. There's an open, there's an open uh, window, so the cat's like right there, especially because the tree right outside has a bunch of birds in it, like a gaggle of birds. Chaos beans, chaos beans, where are chaos beans? I like chaos beans. I don't even know what chaos beans are, but it sounds great. I am 100% an agent of chaos. I will take it. I'll have several. Yes, us. Yes. I uh yeah, I I resemble that. Ooh, that's what we can call you. Oh my gosh, I love it. That's what I will call you. My followers are now known as Chaos Beans. Just like the Terror Muffins have Terror Minions, Eris has Chaos Beans. I like this. Hello, hello. Well, thank you for stopping in, Theater Nerd, and thank you for the host. I really appreciate it. I hope you're having a wonderful day. You are just in time to hear the official proclamation that we are, you are all my chaos beans. I've been trying to think of a name for my followers for a while now. Uh, as like a low-key kind of thing, because I didn't want to, feels, it feels a little weird to say, oh, they're my fans, fans? I have fans, this is weird. Um, but yeah, I think I think I like that. Chaos beans it is. Chaos beans it is. As soon as I'm done streaming, I will get on to Ooh. That's a good idea. <laughs> You 
that I picked up at the store the other day, and I probably shouldn't have. Ooh, I love it, Dragon Gem. That's great. Um, your horde. Yeah, see? Totally. I am 100% for this. Uh, is it just like a, a normal bag or what? Send me pictures. I want to see. I'll get one. your hands. Oh, that's not good. Maybe not. Maybe not. Good morning, Condiment Games. I'm doing great today. Um, I am, yeah, I'm totally, totally cool. I can't decide if that's supposed to be the top or the bottom. Um, I'm working on keychain bags right now, and I am very distracted today. I'm on, like, super ADD mode, I guess. I don't know. I mean, it took me, like, half an hour to decide if I wanted to sew or do housework. So, <laughs> it's one of those, one of those days. Mmm, nice. Okay, is this supposed to be the top or bottom? I think the, that's supposed to be the bottom. Okay, so we're going to do it this way. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. I think. I think this is the way it was intended. I probably should have asked. Too late doing it. It's my bag now. Wow, we are in a weird mood today. I think it might be the pain meds that I took. <laughs> Whew. All right. Well, good luck for you, theater. Uh, good luck to you, theater nerd. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I hope that your hands don't hurt too much. And I hope that your prototype comes out looking great. Uh, send me a picture if you if you don't mind. I, I would love to see it. Ah, why did I do that? This is supposed to be the other way. Oof, yeah. Today's gonna be a rough day gonna be is it is a rough day I mean it's it's one of those I don't even know what it is <laughs> I don't know what today is today's Thursday today's D&D &D day I have Vela tonight and it's a sunny day it's a sunny day you guys are being I don't know treated or possibly um Ooh, awesome. I will make sure to check out your Instagram then. Um, today's one of those days. Oh, right. I was going to say, I'm not sure if it's if it's a treat or torture for you, but it's a singy day. <laughs> Some days I just get all singing. Normally I'm very careful not to stream on those days because I have a thing against my own boys, but, you know. Also, I have a thing against public singing by myself. I don't know. That's why I was always in choir. And anytime there was like a solo part, I never tried it out. It's like, no thanks. No solo for me, please. I will be part of the choir. I love to sing. I do not necessarily want everybody to hear my weird ass voice, though. Not weird. I guess it's not weird. It's just mediocre. Never had a very pretty voice, but. 
I can hit notes. Sometimes they're even notes that I'm supposed to hit. So it's it's always been like some days are just spent completely in song. <laughs> My daughter hates it though. She absolutely hates it when we do that. Well, Abner you are much better at not giving a fuck than I am, apparently. <laughs> um, I try. I try to not give a fuck. I try really hard. But sometimes it just doesn't work. Because I care too much. I just need favorites. Ah, <laughs> oh, I don't know. I mean, let's let's break down my name real quick. Eris, uh, also another word for princess or uh, royal or something like that. Siv, uh, also for trash can. And well, I am odd after all. So I am an odd trash princess. Um, so yeah, sure, you can call me a Disney Fae princess, but my, my name literally means weird trash princess. <laughs> I am princess of the weird trash cans. rubbing at his eyes again. <laughs> oh, you guys are hilarious. Sorry, I'm looking at my cat. <laughs> hey, buddy. Hey, he's a good Oh gosh, I am a Disney princess. No, you cannot, you cannot get on my computer. I will give you a little bit of lovin's, but just sit in the window, enjoy the window. Sometimes you wish you had a supervisor. He's not really good at supervising though. I mean, I call him my supervisor, but he's a cat. Um, <laughs> but he likes to actually sit right here behind the uh, thing behind the sewing machine, but when he does that, it gets extra furry, so I don't like him anymore. But usually, he has a place right over here, too, um, which I've covered with other stuff. Um, yeah, he's not very good at supervising. <laughs> or you just want a cat. <laughs> Very good at distracting me, though. Uh, 
Ah, uh, gotcha. Yeah, pets are expensive. Dog. Dogs are cool. My husband's allergic to dogs, though, so we can't have dogs. Um, but that's okay because I'm more of a cat person myself. And that is 100%, uh, the reason why I'm more of a cat person is 100% because, uh, A, they're all small, <laughs> and I got attacked by a big dog when I was younger, um, it was a Rottweiler, so not the biggest fan of large animals that can, um, that can injure me easily. Um, a cat, if attacked, I can easily defend myself against a cat and ward them off. They're easy to pick up a throw if absolutely, if there's no other way to get them off of you. Uh, not so much with a hundred pound dog. I almost did this the wrong way. Um, Panther's also a cat-ish. Yes, um, I don't necessarily think I would have a panther as a pet, though. Something about that says, uh, no. No. Yeah, no. I mean, they're great. I love them, and if I were an actual druid, I would totally have a panther for a pet. Because why the heck not? When you have speak with animals and conjure animals, you can just conjure swarms of little animals for them to eat. And that'll keep them, um, that'll keep them from trying to eat you. Uh, so that's nice. I don't think, ah, no, 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 no. We're gonna restart that one. That's awesome. I hope you really enjoy your dinner and your show with your mom. Um, give her a big hug for me, please. And if you could like, yeah. Yeah, give her a big hug for me. Mom hugs are great. song. Oh man, it's been six months already. Oh man. Time's going by so fast. I need to get you, I need to get you another badge. Um, I have one that I actually just need to send to someone to get formatted so I can add in badges.
Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. No cat. No, no. He's like, but... But please. Yes. So this one, I'm going to send a quick message to my friend and see if they wouldn't mind um, reformatting that picture so I can add it for a sub badge. Man, you're so cool. Thank you so much, Gemsong. It, it really does mean the world to me, all the, the, the gift subs that you've given and your subscription and being a patron. Man, you rock. Thank you. Y'all really just make my day so much better, and I'm really trying hard not to be an emotional mess this week, but it's really difficult because you guys rock so much. Gotta stop saying you guys. Y'all rock too hard. Y'all rock my socks so hard that I'm an emotional wreck all the time now. <laughs> I don't even know how to handle it. Yo. Hey, Gorm Wolf. Welcome. We are making dice bags. I'm getting really, really warm in here. It's supposed to get like, like up to 80 degrees. Yes, you are all chaos beans. It, it has been decided, Dragon Gem named y'all. We're all chaos beans now. You're my little chaos beans. Little nuggets of chaos running around, creating havoc out everywhere. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Oh, yes, I literally just said when I was done I was going to message my friend. I have awesome socks to rock. Perfect. I'm not actually wearing socks right now. Message to your friend. part about that post is not that everybody's like, hey, yeah, me too. It was the one guy who actually uh, commented DM. Like, he didn't actually DM me. He just commented DM. Um, so I think he wanted me to DM him. But I'm, first of all, I looked at his profile for literally like 10 seconds and was like, nope. <sighs> he obviously didn't read the whole thing. He just searched for things saying, I need a sugar daddy. Uh, but he was like, on his profile, it was just like, Sh sugar daddy, just message me. And it's, it's one of those stupid scam ones where they just want followers and likes and stuff like that. And they pretend that they're rich or whatever. Now, albeit they could be rich, 
Could be. Possibly. I don't know. But I don't know a single person who actually has that much money and is willing to advertise that they have that much money. I do know some people who have a lot of money, but they pretend they don't because it's easier that way. <laughs> because when you're like, hey, I'm freaking loaded, people just crawl out of the word work wanting things. Not necessarily because they like you or anything about you. It's just that, oh, hey, this person has money. I'll get on that. Let me get in on that. No money, no problems, you. Like, if I ever won the lottery, no one would ever know. Actually, no. They might know because I would quit my job and just sew full time. Though, I think you have to actually play the lottery in order to win it. There's like that whole, you know, participation to win thing. Um, so my chances might be a little slim because I don't actually play the lottery. But, you know, it can happen. It would be freaking amazing. I would absolutely love to win the lottery or just, you know, just, I, I don't even want to be rich. I have no desire to have a giant house or a super nice car or anything like that. I just want to, like, pay my bills on time regularly and have money for extras, like, vacation dice. <sighs> and I know a lot of what I'm doing right now is off screen, um, so I'm sorry about that, but it's literally just lining this up, and I'll move, I'll move everything, um, yeah. Oh my gosh, yes. Will you cover vacation pay? Because <sighs> I'm sure most of us don't get vacation pay. <laughs> definitely plan a trip and fly all of my friends. Yeah. I want, I want dice and vacations. That's, that's what I want out of life. Dice and vacations, maybe a few more hula hoops. Um, what am I talking about? A few more hula hoops. All the pretty ones. <laughs> all the pretty hula hoops. Go on a really nice vacation. Fly all my friends there with me. Wait, I'm confused what you mean by that jump song. Are you talking about vacation time? Vacations for everyone, or at least one vacation for everyone. And the loops. That would. You get eight hours a month? Oh my gosh, that's insane! At my day job, we get five days for sick leave and vacation per year. And that's five days total for both combined. So if you get sick, got five days and no vacation. I actually got lucky too. Um, I've had jobs where there's no, there's no paid vacation. But 
year I at least got five days. Dice and hoops and vacations and dice and hoops and vacations. Yep. Mm -hmm. I have absolutely nothing wrong with my heart, so it must be all in my head. A dice hoop would be heavy. I can't even imagine how heavy that would be. Even if you're using, like, uh, wooden dice. Because wooden dice are generally lighter than most other polyhedral dice. So, I, yeah, I'd imagine even if you're using wooden dice, um, it would still be really heavy. Someone did suggest filling a dice, uh, a, hoops, a hoop with dice, um, and it, it it would just it would be complicated. <laughs> I've made hoops before. Um, it's not easy to get to do well. It's not easy to do well. Um, you can totally make a hula hoop really easily. Uh, if you want to make a good one, though, it's a little bit difficult. So one of these up so I can see what they look like because I'm super super excited about them. I have to say I had to do the Valkyrie keychain bag first. The reason why is because as soon as I saw the Valkyrie um, design that he had, I was like that has to be on a keychain bag. I have to make that on a keychain bag. And I did a very good job with that. <laughs> very very happy with the way it turned out these ones not quite so much they have to be on keychain bags this was a design that had to be on a tray absolutely had to um, I wanted to put it on a keychain bag and like a large bag and in fact if I could make it into a d4 bag eventually I probably would but uh, wait for that. White tabby things. These? These right here? These are springings. I custom make them. They go into the bottom of each, of each one and that's what gives them the spring opening. each one by hand. <laughs> Yet another reason why this took so long to develop and why they cost so much. Um, but yeah, I, I call them spring eatings because I'm not sure. Uh, so this I'm uh, going through and it helps uh, keep the 
springing in place and also creates a little bit of a barrier around it so that the edge um, doesn't end up poking through the side of the bag after it's used for a little while. Um, it helps kind of just make it look better and um, it helps it keep up to more use. So let me, real quick, we'll bring in, bring in Fred and we'll finish off this bag so you can see what it looks like when it's done. The only piece that I don't actually make myself on these bags are these. That's it. <laughs> I don't mind the questions. Um, not at all. I like answering questions. Actually, believe it or not, it gives me more to talk about. <laughs> Because sometimes I'm just like, yeah, I've got too much in my brain to actually filter out what, what, what part I can talk about from what's going on in my head, and uh, because I've got, I've got far too much on my brain. Uh, it's it's about, it, it's hard to filter out what I can talk about, what would be interesting to listen to. Um, So questions, questions help me keep talking about something that's a little bit more relevant <laughs> that people actually want to know about. So yes, feel free, all the questions, I love questions. really well. Um, sorry, it's getting really hot in here, so I'm rolling up my pants as I go. <laughs> it's pretty darn warm. Yeah, it's actually, oh man, it hit 80. It's 81 degrees here. So I'm going to go 
ahead and finish this one up now. At least the sewing and turning and everything. So that you can see what it looks like. See you later. Have a good D&D session. Alright, let me grab my scissors. So, funny enough, I have these scissors. These are Fisker's uh, pinking shears, and um, they're awesome. However, they're super, super stiff. Uh, they work fantastically, but like sometimes I can't even open them. I have to use two hands to open them. Um, these are Wisp pinking shears. They were actually... From my knowledge, they are my husband's great grandmothers. Um, or no, my husband's grandmothers. It's entirely possible that they were also his great grandmothers. They are so smooth. They haven't been oiled in a really long time, and they still work so smoothly. Like I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> They're freaking old! Now, they're not as sharp, but as far as scissors go, these are basically antique. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's interesting. Um, another fun fact about scissors is that ever since I cut out all the um, keychain bags, I cannot feel anything right here. That's all like dead. Cannot feel. So that's a fun thing. Um, I'm actually gonna have to use these because they're heavy duty enough. Because this is a lot of fabric. Now, if I'm only cutting through like a layer or two, these work great. Um, I'm thinking that it is gonna be a callus. Um, but it's not actually hard yet, it's just I can't feel anything. <laughs> it's like, um, pins and needles feeling almost. Like when, you're, when your foot falls asleep, that's how that feels, but it's felt like that for a week now. Well, not a full week, it hasn't been a full week, it's been most of a week. But yeah, I think I'm getting a callus there. It's fun. It's fun. It's fine. But yeah, those, uh... Hello. Come on. Come on. It's a good girl. Okay, we got a floof. Say hello, Sky. Sweet. Hey, that's a really good place for you to sit. Much better than my lap.
me. That's already one. Jeez Louise. I spent way too long indecisive this morning. Oops. I have to leave in a couple hours to go to D&D. &D. Oopsies. All right. So there is rainbow D20 keychain bag number one. Pretty pleased with it. Pretty, pretty darn pleased. Um, it needs a label. It needs to be ironed. Um, it's kind of hard to see the blue and the purple on the camera. Uh, they kind of blend into each other. Uh, same with the orange and the red there. But pretty darn happy with this. Super pleased. Oh, there we go. Yes. All right. So now we know what that one looks like. Let's uh, let's do a dragon real quick. Here be dragons. Since I heard this one while I was hooping a few weeks ago, I just want to hoop every time I hear it. Like, I need to practice my doubles. one pin that's getting thrown away when we're done. find it funny um, thinking of calluses. My daughter took up violin this year um, because her school has a pretty good music program where she can pick choir and strings. Um, so she took up violin this year and she said she doesn't want to continue because she, uh, she doesn't like the fact that her hands are getting calluses on them from the strings. I'm like, oh honey. <laughs> 
My hands are getting calluses on them because of scissors. <laughs> Don't worry about strings. <laughs> how your fingers are in the wrong position and this is what you need to do to correct that. Um, maybe one day I'll go and get lessons. My dad played guitar and I actually have his um, guitar which I looked up and uh, it's a pretty pretty great condition. Oh, Gorham Wolf, I hope you have a great game. Um, thank you so much for stopping in. It was an absolute pleasure. And thank you so much for becoming a patron, too. Thank you. I uh, need to get messages out to everybody who became a patron over the past 24 hours because it really, oh my gosh. <sighs> Y'all... You all make me feel so warm and fuzzy. And it's not just because it's 80 degrees in here. Or actually, it's 80 degrees outside. It's probably closer to 90 in here. Judging by how much I'm sweating, it's probably closer to 90. Because I don't get hot very easily. Yeah. Um, but yeah, my, my dad has a, my dad had a guitar, and I still have his guitar. It was like the one thing that I was able to get after he passed. Um, he started trying to teach me, but I was too young. I, I would, like, it was one of those things where I could barely even reach the, like, around the guitar to his strum. Um, because my arms were so short. Because, you know, I was 10 and it was an adult guitar. And I was, I've always been on the smaller side, I guess. Um, well, I, now I'm like average-ish. But, um, as a kid, I was a pretty small kid. So. It was one of those things where I could not reach. Um, so he never actually got to teach me. And, uh, one of these days I'll get, I'll get lessons. I just don't have time. Time is always the issue. Well, time and money. But you know, it's essentially the same thing. Yeah. I need to get 
get lessons though. <laughs> That's the problem. Which means I have to actually pay for them. And voila. able to make it. Uh, I had a lot of help to get there. in my uber we were going down the highway on the way to the hotel and i saw the uh i, I looked out <laughs> and i started waving out the window my uber driver was like what the heck are you doing i'm like oh i'm waving to my friend across the sound he's like the sound's that way <laughs> like oh sorry so i waved out the other window <laughs> and i gave him a good tip <laughs> is kind of subtle um, it's a little more difficult to see um, but I really like it there we go yes but yeah so the spring eatings like that so there we go we've got uh, actually hold on just a moment oh no I already packed them up here we'll just do this last one here signs yes these are dragon scaly wait I think I missed something
full on, I'm sorry. I'm having a moment. I swear there were four. Did one just not sell? I guess nobody's, nobody bought the other one. So it doesn't look like there's any other ones that are on here. Okay. Cool. I'm not going crazy. They just weren't ordered. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. figure this out. I'm having, having a moment. Nobody, nobody ordered it. All right, cool. I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. There were four. Nobody ordered the fourth one. We're good. All right. Woo. I... Yeah. Okay, we're good. We're fine. This is fine. Everything's fine. had a few moments there where I thought I was going nuts. I was 100% sure that I had gone crazy. was a Harlequin bag. Um, it was a it was a completely different design, a uh, different pattern. Same same bag. Um, I thought I I did offer a fourth design for keychain bags, but nobody bought it, so I didn't actually order the fabric because. That's why I did the pre-order. Um, I didn't want to get fabric for something that nobody wanted. Um, yeah, so. Now actually, only one person ordered a dragon scale bag. It makes me a little sad. I... Not very happy to say, but I'm gonna have a ton of extras once I'm done. Um, every design has at least one to two extras that will be made as I go through. Um, Keychain bags are gonna have a lot extra. Um, 
I'm gonna go ahead and use all of it for stock for Gex Convention though. So you won't have a chance at it until after June. But once Gex Convention is over, if I have anything left, it will be up for patrons as first dibs, um, and then I'll put it on my website as um, pre-made items. Deposit is for custom line order items. Um, it's a reservation deposit for, for custom items. So we're gonna hold off. <laughs> you got really excited and I appreciate your enthusiasm. Um, but these are these are gonna be in June. So next month, next month. Get your chance, I promise. Ow. Blood magic. so that we can have all three right next to each other looking all pretty. They'd be so pretty. All pretty together. Come on, Fred. Thank you so much for hanging out, Abner. I hope you have a wonderful day. Chaos beans forever.
always clean your workspace. Always clean your workspace. Calluses. That's apparently a thing. Did you know that? That is a thing you can do. You can get calluses from wielding scissors. That's a thing. It's a cool thing. Whatever. It's interesting. Is the Valkyrie keychain bag, the Dragon Scale keychain bag, and the Rainbow D20 keychain bag. Whoop 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 whoop! I got one of each. Look at how all this is. It looks so good. I'm so happy. I'm so happy with these. I'm super duper happy with these. Man, I can't wait for these to get into people's hands and they fall in love with them as much as I have. Oh gosh, so pretty. Mm. I'm gonna put my label there and there and there and it's gonna be gorgeous. Super stoked. Love it so much. You know what? I have bad days. But this is a really fun job. Like I get a lot of good feelings out of it. It's, it's one of those jobs that really makes me makes me feel fulfilled. You know? Alright, I'm gonna go through and just pin up the rest of these. Actually, I'm gonna take a really quick break, go downstairs, um, and change my clothes because it's hot in here. Um, so give me just one moment and we'll be right back.
So these are all ready to go. I'm so happy with them. I am a little bit cooler now that I've taken off the under tank that I had and changed to a skirt. Though I'm sure once I go to Dandy, I'm gonna be cold because the AC is gonna be on at his house. All right, let's let's do some more uh, some more pinning. Cause I gotta get a gonna stick a pin in it for now. I uh, get it. It's a really bad joke. I'm sorry for my friends and family. I apologize. I did promise mom jokes though. Bad, bad jokes. That's like my MO. That's my thing. Bad jokes. I 
gosh, now I need to make like, I want to get a, like a, shit. I got to make that into a shirt somehow. <laughs> I like it too much. Magic? I didn't really think I needed blood magic for this stuff, but okay. Sure. We'll take it. Blood magic is fine, I guess. sew them all at once and then turn them all at once and then we'll get this studio even freaking hotter and put on the iron and iron everything out. Because it's obviously it's not hot enough already. I need to get a thermometer in here to tell me exactly how warm it is. Outside, it's 80 degrees. Downstairs, it's like 68 because that's what my husband keeps the temperature at. But the AC does not reach up here. Um, so, I don't know how hot it is. But it's pretty freaking warm. Gosh, alright, you're getting done. Goodbye. One good thing about pins is that when they get dull, you can just literally toss them out because they're so cheap. But it's also very important to always have really sharp pins because you don't want to damage the uh, weave of your fabric as you're trying to push the pin through. If it, um, you know, if, if it's too difficult, you actually end up needing to like force it, and uh, that will damage your fabric. So, 
always use really sharp pins if you have any choice of the matter. Same, uh, same, same with uh, needles. I use sharp needles because they'll, they'll pinch and pull at the weave of the thread as well if you're not using a sharp one. It's got to be really pointy. Got to make sure it's nice and pointy. Yes, even if you have a habit of sticking yourself. How else are you supposed to activate the blood magic if you're not drawing blood? Gem song, you'd be proud of me. I started the blood magic before I even got to the studio. I realized I got a uh, bug bite and I scratched my arm. I, I was itching the bug bite, I was scratching it, and I pulled open a, uh, a scab, which started promptly bleeding everywhere. <laughs> so, yeah. You cannot. You cannot perform blood magic without a little blood first. This is another song that makes me want to go to. Although it could be because I was watching a Hulu video with this song and the other song in it uh, yesterday. Since I can't hoop right now, I have to watch videos of myself hooping to get my hoop fix. It's very counterproductive because I start actually moving while I'm watching the video. So I'm like, oh, I know that move. It's like, yeah, I, I'm the one moving in the video. <laughs> Besides gem song, it's like uh, it's like using a, a dull knife. It's actually more dangerous to use a dull knife if you're gonna cut anything than if you use a sharp one because the dull knife will actually go ahead and rip your skin open, give you a nasty ass wound that is really hard to heal. But if you know you use a sharp knife and you accidentally cut yourself, it's a nice clean cut. It goes through completely. It's nice. Um, I say nice, but it's not. Um, cutting yourself is generally not a good idea. Um, but if you're going to cut yourself on accident, then doing it with a, uh, a sharp knife is always a better idea than doing it with a, with a dull knife. Um, and once again, accidents happen and you're not actually planning the accident. But uh, always use a sharp knife and sharp pins and sharp needles, even if you think you might injure yourself, because then, at least if you do injure yourself, it's a uh, nice clean wound. It'll be able to close up pretty quickly. Take this from someone who injures herself quite often. <laughs> it's one of my talents. <laughs> But that's why I always keep uh, nice sharp, sharp cutting tools and pinning tools and stuff like that because I know that I would rather draw blood with something sharp than something dull. It's 
Aw, I gained a viewer just in time for that little speech and then they're like, nope. <laughs> well, you know, sometimes we sew, sometimes we pin and talk about blood magic and how sharp you should keep your cutting instruments. You know, the huge. all this in time to hopefully, hopefully, hopefully in time to uh, make sure I have it all done. Get out a couple of the keychain bags maybe. I might even be able to ship a couple things today. Oh man, that would be beautiful. It would make me so happy. I love post office runs because it means that someone is getting something they're going to love in a few days or weeks if you're international. Not my fault. <sighs> time of year where I'm going to have to start doing all of my stuff at night in the studio or taking all my stuff downstairs so that I can have air conditioning. Which is odd. I'm normally the one that's like, turn it off! Holy cannoli. I'm really glad y'all don't have smell of it in. I mean, what am I talking about? I always smell like freaking roses or something. Six, seven, eight, seven. Duh. Silly me. <sighs> Almost done now. We're more than halfway done. Once they're all pinned, it generally doesn't take too long to sew them. Unless I start screwing up. Then it'll take freaking forever. 
But you know, patience, attention to detail, go slow. It's not a race. They'll get done eventually. The priority is getting them done right. So they look beautiful. Large bags. Heck, I might even be able to get a large bag. I might even be able to get started cutting them today. Um, maybe. Probably not, because realistically, I do need to make all the rest of these keychain bags that are off screen that you can't see. And there's a lot of them. Um, now, all the ones that I need to make for sale are, are already at least pinned not finished, but um, I really should go ahead and just do all of them all at once while I'm in the zone, you know? Once it becomes an assembly line, um, the time per bag goes down slightly. Um, not by much, but it does go down. <laughs> Because once you're, you know, you're doing the same process over and over and over again, you get into a rhythm of it, and it doesn't take as long than if you're just going through and doing each step in order, um, just for one bag. Does that make sense? It makes sense, right? That makes sense. It makes sense to me. If it doesn't make sense to you, I'm sorry. Maybe one day, Chaos Bean, maybe one day you'll understand. Dragons! Dragons! I have to say I'm both disappointed and kind of happy that there are no actual dragons that we know of. Oh, yes, Breeze. Breeze. I think I'm going to have to ask my husband to install the uh, window shaker. <sighs> Love to do it because I can't then, I can't have the window open. 
but oh my gosh, it's freaking hot. I will say, it feels like he just took it down. Uh, weird. All right, last one. Stand up for a moment. This would be one of those days where if I weren't on camera, I'd be sewing naked. But that's not what kind of channel this is. We're not doing that here. I'm 
probably get more viewers though if I were naked. showing my body to uh, strangers, and that's not something. Hello. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I sew naked, but not on camera. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I'm good. It's very hot in here. <laughs> it's about 80 degrees outside. There's no air conditioning in this uh, particular part of the house. And, uh, we've got heat gain from the roof, so it's actually probably closer to 90, 95 in here. Um, but yeah, welcome! <laughs> we are making a bunch of dice bags today. How are you doing today? Yeah, I have the window open and there's a breeze coming through every now and then, but um, it's not too bad. Not, <laughs> it's not actually very helpful. Yeah, I'm, es I'm essentially in a little attic space. Like the roof of the house is right there. <laughs> That's the inside of the roof. So, there's a lot of heat up here, and it's a dark roof, of course, so. Yeah. Otherwise, I'm doing all right. Today seems to be going better than the rest of the week has, so that's a win. Uh, Dragon Gem named my fans Chaos Beans today, um, which is adorable and I love it. So welcome. By sitting in the chat, you are now a Chaos Bean too. <laughs> I hope you don't mind. <laughs> doctor's orders to, to make it easy, I would be outside for a little thing. If we're being honest. Yes, it's um, nice and sunny outside. There's a bit of a breeze going. Um, it's freaking gorgeous. But I had a tooth pulled yesterday, and there's a bit of a complication while I was in the chair at the dentist's office. So I have to be extra careful about my healing process. To not do any strenuous activities. Darn it. But you know, it'll be fine. I will heal by the end of the weekend. I should be able to hoop again. Though, with my luck, it'll be raining. I, 
I saw earlier you posted that you were doing some yoga. That's pretty cool. I mean, I'm sure it doesn't actually help very much, but, um, you know, they're trying to help. They're like, hey, it's time to be in the middle of the floor cover puddle, right? That's, that's what yoga is, right? And they want to be acro cats. You should incorporate them into your moves. Probably stop. Like, nah, I don't think we're gonna do that. I don't know, your cats might be the kind that like to be picked up though. <laughs> I'm sure it was very difficult to force force you to give them. hard job being a cat mom. You know, I was kind of leaning up against my bed the other day. I was standing there, like, uh, just doing something on my phone, and I was just leaning up against the bed, and I swear the incline of my body was only like that. Like, like, like that. It wasn't much, but somehow, uh, Sky, the smaller white one, white cat, uh, she ended up like jumping up into my lap, but I wasn't actually, I wasn't sitting. I was like leaning up against the bed. Um, I'm not quite sure how she did it still. But you know, brave cat, I guess.
forgot I had coffee. to have anything hot. Um, so I made it, and I started waiting for it to cool down, started sewing, and it's been two hours. <laughs> Whoopsie. Actually, it's been closer to two and a half hours, but you know, who's counting? Streamlabs, Streamlabs is counting. stream we're all in sing song voice because apparently today is a singy day of course Abner told me to, t to give Kelly a run for her money but there's no way I can hit some of the notes that she hits mm -mm. my voice moved out of that range a long time ago and I've not been practicing enough to try to keep it there going to be able to finish all of these before Fred starts yelling at me for a bottom bobbin. I really, really hope that that's the case. Because it looks like he, we're getting to the levels where he's going to start yelling at me soon. But the 
these keychain bags don't take up that much thread because they're not like it's not like I'm sewing these giant lines. Um, so I might be able to get through them without Fred yelling at me. We're gonna cross our fingers on that one because I really don't like want to wind another bobbin right now. I don't feel like it. Shit, you know what I didn't do today? I didn't eat. Oops. That's why I'm getting aggravated. I can feel myself getting all like meh. This is about the time I would. But I'm not stopping. <laughs> Screw that, I'm on a roll. This is a bad day for this. Oh. oh man. Am I gonna have to stand and do this? I can't stand and sew. I cannot do that. It's probably this chair, to be honest. Do I have antique scissors? I am also using an antique chair. This chair is so old it has square nails. I should probably get a new one.
last one, well, for now, last one in this batch that I'm doing at the moment. I actually still have like five rainbow D20 bags and then a shit ton of purple dragons and quite a few Valkyries. But we're not going to do that now because there's no way I can get all this done in one sitting. I can't even sit for very much longer. Well that's fine. popular. Um, the purple dragon, I actually only sold one of those for the keychain bags at least. Um, I'll, I'll be honest, uh, I actually didn't even end up buying um, one of the designs. I didn't get any of them done because no one ordered them. So it's, I'm, I'm working with a lot of extras across the board. Um, I ordered the absolute minimum amount of fabric that I could for every single one, and I still have ones. So um, anything that's left over is getting put into, I'm going to obviously make them because why the heck not? And they're gonna go into my stock for Gex convention in June. Um, so anything like